you all welcome back to this section in this video you are going to look at metrics so if you are new on this channel kindly make sure to subscribe like and share so let's move on straight away now today we are looking at a matrix now a matrix has to do with a rectangular array which consists of what a numbers arranged in rows and what columns this is what i'm saying a matrix is a set of what numbers arranged in rows and columns in a rectangular form now let's say I have A to be a matrix in a form, let's say numbers like let's say 2, 3, 1 and 4, 2, 1. This is a matrix, okay? Now we are saying that a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers arranged in rows and what in columns. Now let's see from matrix A. Now we can see that with matrix A, we have numbers within the matrix. Now, the numbers within the matrix A are called what? Entries. Let's take note. They are called what? Entries. They are called entries. Entries are basically met numbers within what? A matrix. So, entries. Number or numbers in a matrix. In a matrix. That is an entries. Now, so two three one four two and one are what entries of a matrix so if that is so now what is the name also given to each number within what the matrix what is also a name given to each number within what a matrix that's what we're also looking at so let's see so with that to each element within a matrix is also called what an element so you let's say i want to know the name of the indicated one the second one i can say the second one is an element why so element two is also a number within a matrix within a matrix so that is also called an element most of the time you use the most of the time you use in other buses they will see using entries and matrix interchangeably but then they are specific in terms of their different uh, meaning behind it so element is basically a number within a matrix and entries are the numbers in a matrix now a matrix is just a singular noun a matrix is a singular noun so a singular noun right but the plural form is what called matrix where you change to what t r c e so let's take note of that is plural form plural form of what a matrix good so that is the idea about what a matrix now we said the matrix have been arranged it's a set of what numbers arranged in rows and columns to form a rectangular what array so now let's see how then would we define the order of this matrix matrix a that we have it that we have it as so matrix a let me put it again here as two three one four two one what is the order of this matrix now for you to identify the order of a matrix all that you need to do is to count the number of rows and columns within a matrix and by definition the order of matrix is defined by the number of what rows and columns the number of rows and columns of a particular matrix so now let's define the number of rows in this matrix the number of columns in the matrix so to identify a row this is how a row look like the one with an arrow that's how a row look like so a row in a horizontal form now a column two can also be defined in a vertical form a column can also be defined in a vertical form this is what we call what in a column form what we call in a column so here you can see that we have what two rows and what three what columns we have two rows and we have what three columns so that is the whole idea in relation to that so let's take note of that so now you can see that here we have what row one and what row two and you can also see that here we have what column one column two and column three so by definition we can say that matrix a is being defined by two by what three matrix is a two by three what matrix is a two by three matrix so you can say that it's a two by three what matrix i hope that is clear so matrix are defined 
in terms of order by what rows and what columns so most of the time certain uh, books you see these symbols representing what the order of matrix as m multiplying n meaning that the m represent the row and then the n represent what the column so let's take note of that let's take note of that now once you know the order of matrix once you know an entries of a mattress and once you know the elements of a mattress how do you identify the entries of a mattress how do you identify the element we said the entries are basically the numbers within what a particular mattress but the elements are a number within what a mattress a number within what a mattress so let's see how we can also locate or uh, yeah locate what an element in a mattress let's say you are taking mattress a the same mattress a now i want to identify an element 2 as I've circled how do you define it so to define an element 2 in this case here's how we most represent it I write what the matrix a and then I'll define it with respect to the number of row and the column that the position that it falls on the base of what the row and then the column you can see that matrix 2 sorry element 2 is on the first row and what first column so I can say a with subscript 1 1 I hope that is clear I can say that a with subscript 1 1 means that the first one is the row and then the second one the second one here is what a column that defines the position of the element or two now what about let's say okay let me go by let's say four this the cycle four. the number cycle has four I can also define the elements for the cycle four I can say that here too I can have my mattress A right and I can say that the element 4 fall under its position on the second column sorry the second word row and then the first word column it falls on the second row which is 2 here and then the first word column so it becomes what's A2 and so this is how we also identify the element of what a mattress this is how we identify the element of a matrix so let's take note. so let me give an example so that also help me to identify okay what are going to be for these three here so this you can also say that a with the position you can say that here a with the position on the row side we have what one right and on the column is on what column what two i can say that a with subscript one two so this is how you identify what the element of a mass so i hope that is simple for us to go so let me also give an example so that you also know how to identify in that case so let's say i have a mattress b to be three four two one now how do you write the element of what four or let me write the elements so that you tell me that there is a element in the matrix so what is b one three sorry what is b subscript one two then let's say b subscript two two so let's take this for these two so how do you define this word element so how do you identify the element this element within what mattress b so in this case you can tell us that here all that you need to know is to arrange or have numbers to attach with the rows and then the columns so i can say that here is what row one row two is that okay and i can say here is what or let me use it so that it makes it different so let's say here is row one row two and here is what column one and column two so now if i want to identify an element b with subscript what one to as a matrix b with subscript what one to as an element i can say that the one is the row so it's going to be what one and then it's falls on the row is one and then the column is what two so on the first row and then on the sorry yeah on the first row which is what the one and the two represent the column so on the second or what second column which is what one so here my first row my second column is going to be on which side my first row 
which is this and my second column is going to be what four is that okay so that's going to be what four always need to take care of it unless you're making mistake so meaning that the first one on the first row right and then on the second column which is what four so that's going to be four now let's go for b subscript to two so in this case meaning that that element is found on the second row and on the what on the second column so second row which is the two is two and second column which is what one so that's going to be what one so that's how you also identify what an element of a matrix so that's really is very simple to go back so we have already indicated that matrix by the are defined by the order m by what n where the m represents what the row and the n represents what the column so let's take note of that that is the order of what a matrix and it will help us to identify what the element of a particular matrix and we said the numbers within a matrix is called what an entries and each number in a matrix is called what an element so let's take note of that now let's move on to how to deal with additions of a matrix now let's say i have matrix a to be two three four one Unless I have matrix B to be 3, negative 1, 4, 2. Then I'm asked to add matrix A and B. How do I go by adding matrix A and B? So this is what you're going to do. When it comes to additions of matrix, you add the corresponding what element. You add the corresponding what element. So this is what you're going to do. All that you do here is to locate the corresponding element within the matrix and their positions. So mean that here I'm going to add two as against what three. Is that okay? Like I also add three as against what negative one. Okay. I also add four with this four, and I also add one with this what two. That's how we add what we we can go by our the additions of what a matrix. So let's take note of that. So in this case, it's going to be. So in this case, it's going to be. So I'm going to have my rectangular array pick one down here. So mean I'm adding what two and what three. So it's going to be two plus what three. I hope that is clear. And I'll come back to the same first row, but on, on the second column, right, which is three. I also add with what negative one. So that's going to be three plus negative one. Then I'll come to the second row. That's first column, which is a four. So I also add four plus the four on the B, which is what four here, and then I'll add what on the second what row and on the second column, which is what one. I'll add also to the B, which is on the second row and on the second what column. So that's going to be one plus what two. So in this case, it's going to be two plus two is going to give me what five, and then three plus negative one is going to give me what two. 4 plus 4 is going to give me what 8 and then 1 plus 2 is going to give me what 3 and that defines what the addition of a matrix A plus what B. What about subtraction? What about if you are asked to subtract A as against what matrix B? How do you also go by that? So let's see. So in that one too, I can say that here, let me use the same values down here. I'm asked also to find what subtract matrix B from matrix A. So that is going to be, so let's see. So in that regard, the same thing I'm going to do here. You subtract the corresponding what component, okay? Subtract the corresponding component. So in that case, to I'll be subtracting corresponding component. Okay, so I'll subtract three from two. So on that note too, I also subtract B, the matrix B elements from matrix A elements. So in that case, 
I'm going to say that here is going to be 2 minus 4, 3. Okay. And then I'll bring the 3 here, which is 3, and I'll subtract 1 from it. So it's going to be 3 minus minus 1. Is that okay? And then I'll do same 4 minus 4. And then I'm going to have here to be 1 minus 2. So I don't really, I'm going to have here to be negative 1 here to be 4 because negative negative is going to give us what positive okay so positive and here is going to give me 0 and here is going to give me negative what 1 in that case so that becomes what the subtraction of and additions of what a matrix so thank you for watching this is just an introduction to a matrix if you are helpful to you please go ahead to subscribe and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel as well make sure to like and subscribe to the channel as well so i will see you in the next video we'll be looking at the types of a matrix talking about multiplication of a matrix and other elements or other concepts in relation to matrix so i'll see you bye bye